have never felt more ready for something That's ever. Awesome. I'm so excited to go out there and it feels so good to be able to do it in a way that's me this yeah, time. Yeah, you know? you're gonna kill it. I'm Rebecca Black, I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Anaheim, California. As a kid, I just loved music. I was in every musical theater program. I was taking piano lessons and dancing, and it was like, okay, what can I do to just have this in my life more? So when I was 13, my parents found this company that would provide me with a song and film a music video. That song was Friday. I got to come up to LA with all my friends. It was just such a cool experience. And I was like, okay, this was fun. This was something creative for me to do over Christmas break. After it went on the internet, it literally blew up in the blink of an eye. The song should be banned. My ears are bleeding. Congrats on your three million dislikes. I can only imagine how being Rebecca Black would be right now. The hate comments were everywhere. Cringe the whole time. No one can prep you for that kind of a thing. There is something so brutal when you're 13 about people telling you that you don't belong here. Don't there was definitely a moment where nothing. I got really close to giving up on my music. Just be but like, just you should never let anyone tell you that what you love to do is wrong. It feels weird to say that this is redemption because I'm 20, but I'm here to get a chair and I am ready to show everyone who has doubted me, who has left all those comments, that I do deserve to be here and I'm ready to take on the four. It's Rebecca Black. Do you know Rebecca Black? No, I don't. Will you please tell them your legendary story? So when I was 13, I had a song called Friday. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. It's big. Oh. Friday, Friday. Yeah. And uh, there were so many cool things that came out of it, yeah. but it also gave me a lot of setbacks because there were tons of people who didn't love it. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. I feel like you overcame the ultimate cyberbullying, and now you're just like this beautiful goddess out here. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, they were coming at us. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Sing, have fun. Okay, take it away. Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't know. <laughs> Megan. Yes, girl. Tell them. Tell them you're grown now. Oh, my goodness. Right? Good job. She's not 13 anymore. You are not 13. 
I just got so many chills because that was the perfect song. I was just like, tell all the haters, bye, bye, bye. It was so good. <laughs> Khaled. Bless up, bless up. Basically, you know, some people call haters, I call them they. We stay away from they. All the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, they don't want us to win, so we're going to win a lot more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the energy I'm getting. You try to tell me they try to front on her early? Oh, when she was 13, a child. So they try to front on her early, yes. so they play themselves. They play themselves. <laughs> Come on, baby girl. Diddy. When you're following your dream, there's a journey that you have to go through. Everybody's journey is different. I remember Muhammad Ali said, knock me down seven times, I get up eight. I don't know if I could put you through, I'm gonna be honest, but don't never stop, don't never stop. Uh, I love her. Let's get it. It's time for our panel to vote. They will decide if you earn the opportunity to challenge one of the four for their seat. Remember, in order to challenge one of the four, you'll need all three rings to turn blue. Panel, please vote now. The verdict is in. Let's see if the panel thinks you deserve to challenge one of the four. One more ring and we have a challenge. Come on, Rebecca. 